everybody. Welcome to Home Safari again today. My name is Marjorie Barthel. And I'm Kelly Carpenter. And we're both um, two of the rhino keepers here at the zoo. Uh, today we're here with Saya, our female black rhino. And we're going to talk about her today with you guys. And while we're talking, also please don't hesitate to send in those questions. We'd love to answer whatever questions you guys might have out there. So this is Saya, as I said, our female black rhino. And Kelly's tossing her some treats right now, some of her favorites. This is some enrichment. We also use it for training with her to teach her just basic husbandry behaviors that we can use if the vet needs to check her out, just like kids if you go to the, to the doctor. Um, Saya gets checked out by our vet the same way. So she's eating some apple oat treats. They're actually a horse treat, but she really likes these. So we, we're tossing her some of those right now. So this rhino is... Um, She's from Baton Rouge, so she's a, a Southern Belle. Um, she came up to the Cincinnati Zoo about four years ago. 2013. Yep, 2013, so around there. <laughs> it's been longer than I thought. <laughs> Time flies, doesn't it? it? Yes, what year is it? Um, but anyway, she's been a, a wonderful animal in our collection. Um, she's very full of personality. Uh, she's very energetic, very sweet, very sassy. Um, she always lets us know how she's feeling for the day, for sure. Um, she's very playful. Uh, she likes to um, get baths often. Uh, Kelly and I um, try to give her a pretty regular bath um, involving um, a scrub brush and actual soap that we have just for the rhinos. Um, they, I think they use it for the elephants as well. But um, we actually give her, get her all um, sudded up with some soap, and she just loves it. the attention. She loves the feeling of the brush. Um, these guys love to be rubbed on. Uh, we actually have different um, enrichment toys on the walls that they can rub on when they want to um, as well. Yeah, so something really cool. There's actually a lot of similarities between what Saya does every day and what we do every day. Now, I know it's really important that we all eat our fruits and vegetables every day, and that's actually a really big part of Saya's diet. So every single day, she gets romaine lettuce, carrots, bananas, apples, but it's not just limited to that. She can have kiwis, cantaloupe, melon, asparagus. Now I would say that she normally does like all of our, her fruits and vegetables, but there are a few certain ones that she is not super fond of like celery. Some other similarities between us and Saya is it's really important that we brush our teeth and have good dental hygiene. And although Saya doesn't exactly brush her teeth, what you're seeing Marge give her, which is willow, she actually eats the leaves and the sticks of all the brows that she gets. And those sticks kind of act like a little toothbrush or floss for her. So she takes care of her teeth. Um, we also do operant conditioning training with her. So she will open her mouth on command so we can check inside and make sure that she does have good looking teeth, not too much plaque. She also is trained for a voluntary blood draw, just like we give blood. And as you've seen in the past, when she was pregnant with Kendi, we also did voluntary ultrasounds. We do get weights on her. So right now she's about 2,600 pounds, but black rhino species can get up to about 3,500. Our uh, male, Peru, weighs in at about 2,800. They are the smaller of the African rhino species. So there's two species of African rhinos, the black rhino that we have here, Saya, and white rhinos. White rhinos are the larger ones. So Luke wants to know how hard is their horn? So her horn is very hard. So she uses it to protect herself, to protect her calves, and also when she's with Peru. So what's really cool about their horns, which is another similarity, is her horns are made of something called keratin. And we actually have things on us that are made of keratin as well. So that's what our fingernails and our hair is made of. And you can see she does have a beautiful horn. She does shape it herself, so she'll rub it. Uh, they also use that for scent markings. Occasionally, if we had to, we could file on her horn as well. So Aiden wants to know, what is her favorite food? Marge, what would you say her favorite food is? So her favorite, favorite, favorite food is actually strawberry jam. 
She loves strawberries, but she loves strawberry jam the most. Um, we try to um, get jars of that fairly often for her and rub it on um, like a ball or some of her enrichment toys um, in her stalls or when she's out here in her yard. She absolutely loves it. Connor wants to know, hi Connor, how many babies do they have? So oh. black rhinos have one calf at a time and normally about every four years, between every three to four years. So we have had one born here. His name was Kendi. I'm sure you all know him well. And we are looking to breed our pair in the future. Yes, we are. We're um, getting through winter here and um, probably in the in the spring here as it gets warmer, more warmer days consistently. Um, and a lot drier weather than we've had for sure. Uh, we will definitely um, continue to try to um, trying to make another baby here yeah. so that's exciting what's exciting really cool news. about us is our um logo that is on our uniforms actually the only animal featured on it is the black rhino <laughs> so we're pretty fond of them <laughs> piper wants to know does she have a fave keeper i i'm upset about this question because she does she Who's does that, that would be me that would be marge um you know what i I greeted her when she came to our zoo. She was just a young little thing, um, and we just bonded um, pretty quickly. And um, to this day, she she won't shift <laughs> very well, at least when I'm in the building. Um, the other keepers will kind of, Marge, get out of the building. She doesn't want to shift because she knows I'm in there. So it's a special relationship I have with her, but she does love all of us, though, for sure. For I'm going to sure. say I'm the second favorite just to make myself I th I feel think, good. I yeah. Think so. I think so. Yeah, so she can be really, she'll get really excited and fixated on Marge if Marge and I are in the building together. So I'll have to tell Marge, like, you need to go out of sight because she won't move over and she's looking at you. So Dre wants to know, is their skin soft? It is yeah. in some places. Um you know, behind her ears particularly are very soft. Um, their noses are pretty soft. Um, under their eyes and the creases are really soft. And those are all places they love to be rubbed as well, too. So, um, but, you know, it's it's rough skin. But in some spots, like I said, it's, you know, a little more um, soft than others. So Meredith, hi, Meredith, wants to know why does she have hair on her ears? Well... She's a mammal. Yeah. <laughs> so she, they only typically have hair, black rhinos in a couple places. Her eyelashes, her ears, the tips of her tail. I think it adds some attitude to her. It's yes, like her definitely. own type of style. Definitely. Definitely. And then, sorry. So we also were asked what the difference is between a black and a white rhino. So I said earlier that white rhinos are larger. They're both African species of rhino. Um, and it sounds like they're called black and white rhino would relate to their color at all, but it actually doesn't. Most of the time they're gray right after Zuri or say has one of her beautiful baths. She can be a little bit darker, um, color to her, but there, the main difference is her lips. So while she's reaching for these treats, you can kind of see on her upper lip, she has a semi prehensile lip. So black rhinos are browsers. That means that they're going to reach into the sky. They're going to grab leaves and berries, shrubs, branches with that upper lip. Whereas white rhinos have a square bottom lip because they are grazers. So white rhinos are really great at eating off the ground, almost like having a, a giant shovel attached to your mouth. Chris would like to know how big is a baby rhino when it's born? <laughs> First of all, they are so cute. Um, and ours was about um, about 80 pounds or so. Yeah. 80, 100 pounds. Um, so compared to her, they're really teeny tiny. Um, and that was definitely, um, so far, one of the biggest highlights of my career. And I think Kelly's as well. Yeah, we actually, Cincinnati Zoo has been very successful at leading breeding black rhinos. Um, it had been a while since we had one, so Kendi was a really special gift, and we're looking forward to more in the future. But something really cool about black rhino calves is Kendi was born about 80 pounds at birth, huge, and he gained 100 pounds every single month of his life for the first year of his life. So one month old, 180 pounds, two months old, 280 pounds, and then about a year old, that does slow down a little bit, but 
If you got to see him in the yard, he, every time you went to go look at him, he was just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Sophia wants to know how long are rhinos pregnant for? So they are pregnant for um, 15 months. Um, I can't, if I remember the days she was, yeah, but 15 months or so, these guys are pregnant. So a very long time, um, but obviously it's well worth the wait. Um, but yes, it's a long gestation period. So long process. Yeah. And towards the end of her last pregnancy was when we were able to do the voluntary ultrasounds with our crew department here, which was really cool in the beginning, not much to see, but towards the end. Yeah, absolutely. So we had another question. Are any of their senses better than the other? And yes, they are. So Saya does not have the best vision. Uh, if something was about 30 meters away from her, so if Marge was standing 30 meters away from her, she wouldn't be able to really distinguish what that is or who that is or if it's a small tree or a human. But she makes a, up for it in other ways. So she has a great sense of hearing and a great sense of smell. Hi. She's loving this. <laughs> Hannah wants to know, can Saya swim? So these guys aren't um, really aquatic um, animals. Um, they're just not made to really swim per se. Not that you wouldn't find them in the water. Um, you'll more than likely see an Indian rhino in the water, um, but we have had black rhinos that like to go down in their pools in the summer when it's been really hot. But what these guys really love is the mud. These guys would rather mud wallow all day long um, so just like those kids at home that like to get the dirt and the mud, um, these guys do too, but they do it with a purpose. Um, not only to keep cool when it's really hot and sunny um, and sticky, especially humid in um, Cincinnati here, but also to protect their skin from um, insect bites. So they're protecting themselves from flies and, and things like that as well. It also helps to condition their skin really too. So Maddie, oh, Colin, sorry. Colin wants to know, are they endangered? So they are uh, actually listed as critically endangered. There are about 5,000 black rhinos left and 60 black rhinos in AZA zoos across the United States. Um, around before 1970, there was about 65,000 rhinos. And from 1970 to uh, the early 1990s, the population decreased by 96%, bringing them down to about 2,500. Obviously, we've been able to double that population, but your support of our zoo is participating in their conservation, which is really important because I think Say is pretty cute and we want to keep black rhinos around. Jake asked, do they shed horns? No, they do not shed horns. They um, keep growing those horns throughout their lifetime. I think Kelly um, mentioned before that they shape them themselves, which they do. Uh, but yes, those horns can grow several feet long, um, you know, especially in the, in the wild. But um, yeah, I mean, these guys um, have these same horns their whole life. A fun activity after this is actually to Google the difference between horns and antlers. Yes, it is. I think it would answer that question as well. So Maddie wants to know, are they born with horns? So they are not born with horns. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cute. Um, when they are first born, you can see where the first horn will be. Um, the first one, the front one, um, is the first one that'll grow in. Uh, you'll, it'll just start as a little bump and very quickly actually, um, you know, start forming into a horn. Uh, soon after that, I want to say a couple weeks after that, the second horn behind the first one will start to pop through as well. So no, they do not have a horn when they're first born, but it does not take long before they're growing in. And something really cool is their horns actually grow their entire lives. So they constantly shape them, but um, if she had to, you know, shaped it off a little bit, it continues to grow their whole lives. So we had a question on what is the life expectancy of a black rhino? So in, uh, at our zoo, they typically live between 35 to 45 years. Uh, in the wild, about 30 to 35. Avery would like to know how can kids help rhinos? And that is such a special question. By you watching this home safari today, you are helping rhinos. You just coming to the Cincinnati Zoo, supporting your local zoo, um, just even loving these animals is how you can help Saya and black rhinos and their conservation. 
We also have uh, something really fun that Marge does, which is called Rhino Rembrandts. Do you want to talk to me about Rhino Rembrandts? Yeah, so what Rhino Rembrandts is, is it's actually paintings done that um, the keepers that we sell um, online on CincinnatiZoo.org that our rhinos paint themselves. They use that prehensile lip that Kelly was talking about earlier. Um, we put some paint on a canvas, um, colors of people's choice, and um, these guys just paint away. Um, it's fun for us, it's fun for them. It's a type of enrichment, um, and it also obviously is um, you know, putting money toward rhino conservation as well as supporting the zoo. So we had a not question about rhinos, but an important question from Brittany. How do you become a zookeeper? So I would say the most important thing is you gotta love animals. We work them with them every single day and being passionate about animals is really, really important. But studying really, really hard in school, uh, a lot of zoos require a bachelor degree and then even volunteering. So at our zoo, which in time we will be open again, you can be a volunteer even uh, under the age of 18. You can do internships. Uh, there's zoos in every state. So there's so many opportunities to kind of get experience in the field. Natalie asked, do they get dry skin? Yes, they do get dry skin. So we talked a little bit about their mud wallowing and how that can help condition their skin in the warm months. But actually through the winter time, like now, uh, when Kelly and I give her her scrubby bath, um, we will also use Skin So Soft um, on her as well. It's diluted a little bit with just a little bit of water, um, but we use Skin So Soft. We spray it on her skin to help keep it nice and conditioned for the winter. So we're going to answer two more questions, and then we're going to talk to you about your awesome activity for today. So Hannah wants to know what other animals do they get along with? Oh, sorry. So they, uh, yeah. So <laughs> there's two of us here, um, you know. So these guys are solitary. Um, you'll usually just see black rhinos by themselves, unless of course um, they come together for breeding or they have a calf. Um, you will also see them with um, in the wild, especially with little birds on their back. And don't ask me the name of them all. Oxpeckers. The Thank you. Um, those the little birds, um, little oxpeckers, um, help to keep the insects, um, you know, off their back. They'll actually eat them off their back for them. Um, we don't really house currently our black rhinos with anything else here. They seem to get along with ducks yeah, <laughs> that ducks. we've had in the yard before. Smaller birds. Smaller they birds. Not a whole lot of, you know. Yeah, I think they like their space. Yes, they do for sure. Being solitary, there's not a lot that's usually around them in the wild anyway. And our last question from Tatum, how many pounds of food do they eat a day? So she gets 14 pounds of grain alone. And as we talked earlier, she does get the uh, lettuce, carrots, uh, apples, bananas, variety of fruits and vegetables. And then she eats about a bale and a half a hay of hay a day. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> that is a tongue twister. <laughs> yeah. She's got to maintain her figure. <laughs> so before we leave you, we do want to end with talking about our activity for today. And it's a really cool activity because it's going to help you remember that there are five species of rhino. So we're going to count them out with you first. Mm -hmm. So we have our black rhino, like Saya behind us, white rhino, the greater one-horned rhino, which we have here as well, Sumatran rhino, and Javan rhinos. And you are going to use this handprint and turn it into your very own rhino. So log on to the Cincinnati Zoo's uh, website and look at the home safari resources. And be sure when you make it up to send us pictures, name your rhino, make sure that they have two horns like a black rhino does. <laughs> We're so excited to see we them. We are. We are very excited. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you guys. Uh